All right, so last year I had a pretty lofty goal, very lofty indeed, six watts per kilo for 20 minutes. And I was potentially quite naive in terms of like how easy I thought this would be. Uh, but basically I thought like, could I do 340 watts for 20 minutes? I was like, yeah, probs. Could I lose like four kilos? Yeah, probs. Not really sure why I thought I could lose four kilos, but you know, thought I just could. I was like, didn't really think about it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be 57, that's easy, yeah. So I thought 342 watts for 57 kilos, six watts per kilo, yeah, it's easy. So the power part is obviously quite easy to control. The weight part is not as easy to control unless you just don't want to eat, but that's a bit dead, so I'm not going to do that. So anyway, started off the old FTP test, like January. I did one early January, but like messed up, didn't really pace it properly. I got like 317. But anyway, this is the first proper one, 334 watts, um, which at the time I have no idea. It's probably about 62 kilos or something. It says 5.6, but it's probably more like 5.3 watts per kilo then for 20 minutes, which to be honest is, is pretty good. Um, it's decent. Um, and then basically I went back to London, didn't really train much. Well, I'd trained, but like not properly, and then went to Thailand, um, and I did like the Doi Step race where I held like 320 watts for half an hour, and then for 20 minutes I held like 320 or something. So again, it, it does confirm my FTP was about that. Also like in Thailand it's quite hot and like humid, so it's harder to hold the power unless you get adapted to it. Um, and I did a couple more efforts on Doi Step um, where I sort of held like comfortably, like so for 20 minutes I held 330 watts, and then you can see I slid to like, for half an hour I held 320. So in reality for 20 minutes I could probably hold like 340 if I was just doing 20 minutes. So I pretty much got to the point where my goal of 340 watts had been achieved. But my weight at that time, I obviously had no scales in Thailand. I wasn't really gonna buy any for like three months, sort of pointless. Um, so I have no idea what my weight is. I predict it would probably be like high 64s maybe, 63, 64, because I was eating a lot of fatty food and like, I don't know, I was just enjoying life and wasn't really caring about weight that much. Again, I did another 20 minute effort here. Um, well, actually, it was, sorry, it was a whole Doi Step effort. So you can see it, for the whole effort, it was like 315. But for 20 minutes, again, it was like 330 watts. So I, I felt like, yeah, my FTP is definitely like, you know, higher than 317 because I can hold 330 watts pretty easy. Um, and then you can keep going afterwards. Um, so yeah, I was like, it probably is a bit harder. Um, and then again, here, I held another, I think it was, yeah, 330 watts. Oh, no, no, so this was um, another Doi Step effort where I had like 317 watts. This, I wasn't as strong um, on that particular effort. Um, and then anyway, so I didn't really do any FTP tests then. I then had a hill climb season. So like this is one of my hill climb efforts was like 380 watts more, I think, for about eight minutes, um, more or less. So yeah, you can see here about 380 watts for seven minutes, 20, um, which is like pretty solid, um, to be honest. Uh, I did get held up a little bit. Like you'll see my power drops here just because um, at one point I was like slightly held up. Um, by a truck but anyway like five seconds so not much um but yeah that was so that was pretty good like i mean in terms of an eight minute test like 380 watts for like eight minutes let's say i could do that twice take 90 percent of that so subtract about 38 watts 380 minus 38 watts is 342 watts so that's a pretty solid ftp but obviously i can't do that um however after doing a bit of training i then decided to do an ftp test the eight minute test which i think probably does overestimate it for myself because I know that I'm quite like VO2 max, I'm good at, but aerobically I, after like 20 minutes, like you could see that test, like I did 20 minutes at 330 watts and then for like half an hour I held like 320, which potentially is just my brain probably, you know, being soft, which is true. Um, but anyway, here you can see I held 363 watts, um, that was the average, um, but I weighed 63 kilos, so I wasn't mega light, like after hill climb season I sort of like went out quite a lot. Um, and was generally watched while I was eating that well. Um, but yeah, you can see the first one 364, the second one 362. Um, so yeah, that was average 363. Then what you do for the eight minute test is you take 90% of that, uh, which is again would be subtract 36.3 watts, which gives you 327 watts. Um, so yeah, again, like that's about at that weight is 5.2 watts per kilo FTP, um, which is like, yeah, again, it's decent. Um, it's pretty good. Like, Again, it's nothing crazy, like, for my weight. Like, obviously, if you were, like, 80 kilos and had that, then, yeah, it'd be pretty impressive. But for, like, a 60-kilo lad, more or less, like, mainly more, uh, it's not mega impressive. So I think the main thing I'm thinking of is next year is, like, what what do I want to target? Like, obviously, there's the National Hill Climb Championships, which I'm going to make a video on in a little bit because that is, like, a big goal for myself. But generally, I want to have, like, an FTP that's respectable. Um, and I think five and a half watts per kilo, I think I could do that now. Like, if I just you know, had like a good month of where I just really watched what I ate, I could get down to 61 kilos. And then this month I'll be doing 20 hour weeks, probably get, increase that FTP to like 337 watts, um, 
Well, actually, let's have a look, because 61 times 5.5, I think, which should be about a little over, yeah, 334 watts. So increasing this by 7 watts in a month, I think, with proper training, I think it's fine, because um, if we go to the time when I was training, um, like, for that math, that FTP, it wasn't that crazy. Like, you can see this is, um, so I took my FTP test here um, in December, and you can see the week before I had a taper week. But again, I was only doing 11, 13 hours, and this is, so I had basically had two weeks of training. So, I mean, it's it's like, you know, I it definitely can get higher um, than that for sure. So I think five and a half watts per kilo, I think I should be able to do. Um, but at the same time, I want to have goals that I achieve. So it, it's, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, but for me, I think that probably like, I don't know, 5.8 watts per kilo, maybe 5.7 watts per kilo, FTP. I don't know, we'll see. Um, it might be too much, it might be too little. My power meter might overread, probably does. But like at the same time, you can't really... I mean, unless I probably will get a new power meter potentially for my TT bike. I haven't decided that. Um, but until that point, I mean, you can't, I don't really know. I mean, maybe my FTP is only 5 watts, but I, I don't know. It's impossible to know. Um, but what I can say is that if I just use on this, this power meter, which I think is more or less accurate considering I've compared with some other people during hill climb season with their weight, it seems more or less right. Um, so, yeah, I think maybe 5.7, 5.8 watts per kilo. But I think the thing I want to do is have then something that's testable. Because for me, having an FTP, let's say I want to do like 350 watts, 355 watts for um, 20 minutes. I mean, like, I've got to think, like, when am I going to do that? Like, I can't do that on the flat. It's not going to happen. I wish it could happen, but it's not going to happen. So then I have to find a 20 minute climb. And in order to find a 20 minute climb, you then have to be in good fitness. And you also have to be confident enough that you're going to do it. I mean, the nearest 20 minute climb to me in Bristol is probably like, black mountain that's like a fair way so then you've got to think like, how am i going to test it okay i could do a ramp test but like you know turbo training again so i think the best thing to do is have an ftp test which i can either get from a 20 minute test or an eight minute test i think true the eight minute test probably does overestimate it slightly but again it's like you know you just have to sometimes go with these things and if you this is goal it's your goal it's not necessary to compare to other people because i think a lot of people get triggered by this because they'll see my what's beginning be like 5.8 what's beginning ftp no chance of doing that but it's like well, yes, but if my, F if my power meter slightly overreads and this FTP test slightly overestimates my FTP, which, to be honest, I don't think it has because I haven't been able to complete every single workout and every single set of intervals that I've done so far on my new FTP. Therefore, I don't think it has. Um, but, yeah, people get triggered by that. But it's like, in reality, it's, just, it's about yourself. Like, are you trying to raise the goal of yourself from getting from whatever it is, 5.3 now to 5.8, which is half a watt per kilo, but at the same time, like, I can easily lose two kilos, like, because hill climb season was consistently 61. And yeah, I wasn't eating as much, like I wasn't eating much oil, et cetera, et cetera. And I was definitely watching what I ate, but it wasn't like crazy. Like if I was really, really obsessed, I'd probably get down to 59, 58. So then it's like, again, that, that will change the what's per kilo. Um, but I think, yeah, in general, um, that will be my goal, something like that. Um, in terms of power, I'm going to do some other videos about my goals because like I have racing goals, which are not really power based. They're more in terms of like confidence based. And then I have some result, like outcome goals which I want to achieve, um, but yeah, mainly for this year, it's just consistent training, consistent testing. Train three weeks on, or maybe do three weeks on, rest week, three weeks on, rest week, and test that week, six weeks, like every six weeks, every four weeks, something like that. So you're consistent in your testing so that you actually know your zones. And also then you can be like, is it working? Is it not? And also it's good to have accountability and not get into the, the zone which a lot of people do, which is when you're training and you're training, but you're not really getting faster because you're not testing yourself. So you don't know if you're faster, you don't know if you're slower. Um, but anyway, I hope this video is interesting. Like if any of you have any goals that you think I should have or like have any thoughts about my goal, is it unrealistic? Um, I don't really know. But I guess you have to have like quite bold goals. Otherwise, you're never really going like, to challenge yourself that much. Like if I set a goal of five and a half watts per kilo and I achieved it by January, I'd be like, well, that was a pointless goal, wasn't it? So it's going to be a struggle. Um, but hopefully I think I should be going to some long mountains in June potentially I think I might be going to the Alps so in that case like there'll be long climbs altitude maybe but if I start from the bottom I should be hopefully able to do like 350 watts by then uh, for 20 minutes which would be pretty epic and if I weighed 60 kilos that's 5.8 watts per kilo for 20 minutes which is pretty solid but obviously as FTP that's you know less um, but anyway maybe I should figure out what that is 5.8 so 5.8 watts per kilo times let's say it'll be 60 kilos is 348 so I'd need to have an FTP of 348 348 divided by 0.9 to figure out what I have to do for eight minutes 387 watts for eight minutes twice so yeah that'll probably bite gold so maybe 5.7 but something like that definitely over five and a half I think um, and then that's pretty legit power uh, and then we'll see how that goes in the races so anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this vid. Um, and let me know if you have any of your goals.